Hey traders, what's going on? This is Chris at Verilo Trading. Welcome you to this video. Uh, thank you for joining me today. In this video, I'm going to be telling you about how coding changed my trading for the better. And I wanted to, you know, basically make this video to share my experience with programming thus far. It's been a few months that I've been working on automating certain aspects of an existing trading method that I've traded the same way for probably around two years, the nearly the same exact method or just building upon the same method of trading during that time and not jumping from one method to another like many traders do. Um, so basically the purpose of this video is just going to be to share my ideas on this and I think that it can help traders that are in you know beginning or intermediate stages of their trading and there's a lot of common myths that are out there regarding algorithmic trading so I wanted to also address some of these in this video so hopefully this video could be something interesting for uh, new and developing traders and also experienced traders here in this uh, world of you know constantly evolving and developing um, market conditions um, you know, because in reality, guys, the markets are different than they've ever been. They've never been the way they currently are right now. You know, if you look at it historically and that's it. So thank you for joining us. Let's get to it. If you want to support the channel, if you enjoyed this content, you can check out some of the links in the description. And uh, if you enjoy this content, remember to press like, leave a comment on the video. And, you know, I'm just curious to hear what you guys think of this. So let's get to it. The first thing here is that I think that none of these points will matter to you or anybody if you have no experience actually trading the markets. If you have never discretionary traded before, if you don't understand how markets move and how emotions in humans can contribute to how markets move, as well as market sentiment and whatever is you know relevant to the way a current market is trading, then these points that I'm about to share with you will probably not make any sense to you. Because what I'm talking about in this video really is the difference between algorithmic trading and discretionary trading and how you know it's different perspectives of seeing things and how one can help the other when you see both perspectives it helps you to gain a different light on seeing the market so let's get on with it all right so the first reason as to how coding made me a better trader is I believe that when you start getting into the algorithmic implementation of strategies and rules that you created um, your mindset starts to shift or is starts to become more skewed towards a development mindset which promotes longer term progress and sustainability rather than a speculative mindset that a lot of traders are stuck into. There are people out there who've been trading for a very long time who have never really adopted this type of mindset because um, you know, they're just, well, they're gamblers. Basically, they just view the market as a speculative device and they just, you know, use it as a means to an end, which is to satisfy their impulses and um, emotional whatever it is, you know, in nature, the markets are generally speculative, right? A lot of people that trade in futures contracts every single day are trading for speculative purposes. But it doesn't mean that just because you're engaging in a speculative activity that you're going to think of it the same way as somebody playing on a slot machine at the casino, because it's really not the same thing. I believe that traders that shift their mindset more towards a development and a longer term approach to their trading have an advantage because the markets, in my opinion, guys are a very complex place. But there's lots of opportunities that can be extracted from them for the people that are willing to sit there and either wait for it or you know work it out traders they tend to get stuck into that gambling mentality especially um, you know when they start getting into trading or maybe they've been trading for a long time with limited success and then of course they start to search the internet about trading and they find that there are also other people out there many people that are unsuccessful in trading and you know of course they all conglomerate and share their stories together about how you know potentially the markets are rigged and that no one's profitable in trading but in the reality is is that most of these traders have never really learned about the tools things that they can do to improve their trading from a bigger picture without having to necessarily sit there and risk capital on a daily basis. And I talk about this in a lot of my videos, especially the newer stuff where we're going over backtesting and talking about, you know, building automated trading systems. I honestly think that getting into algorithmic trading or incorporating algorithmic concepts into trading, even if you're discretionary, have the potential to really improve your mindset about how you look at your trading and how trading fits into your life and uh, your workflow. Because when you start implementing things programmatically, you start to take smaller steps 
in the same direction consistently and that in turn generally results in more consistent returns because you're kind of getting an idea for where you're going because you're taking very small steps towards uh, a goal rather than you know just approaching trading from a gambling mindset and saying okay i'm going in today i think the markets are going up i'm gonna buy them and that's it the second reason now as to how coding and programming changed my trading for the better is it allows me to test ideas a lot faster and learn about market conditions and observe market trading activity much faster than manually trading them if I was trading them with real money or on a demo account in the live markets. Um, with the ability to access high quality backtesting software and test strategies on pretty much nearly perfectly accurate um, representations of what the markets are actually doing, being able to observe that action, observe how strategies trade um, algorithmically. And of course, you guys know that when you tell a computer to do something and, you know, it's as long as the code is not disastrous, it's going to do the same thing every time the way you tell it to. Unlike a human being that is going to be victim to um, other outside influences. And then we'll talk about that as we continue here. So definitely big advantage being able to test ideas faster and gain more quicker insights into market trading activity and make notes about things faster, uh, improve your playbook, whatever it is that you're doing in your trading, developing your trading, I think you can do it faster when you get into backtesting and automated trading because you learn how to implement rules and think about them from a logical and programmatic uh, mindset. Programming for me definitely improved my ability to analyze and observe market activity because of course you can do it faster when you're replaying the market at a faster speed and the ability to implement rules that you create uh, when you have to tell a program how to do something you have to really make it clear you have to be able to clearly explain what it is you want the program to do so in a way it's equivalent to trying to teach somebody something that you want them to do you have to be able to explain it very clearly so they understand exactly where you're coming from and what they need to be doing a program is the same way it responds exactly to what you tell it to do so if you're telling it to do something that is incorrect and then you test it out well you're going to probably see that very quickly that what it's doing is not what you want it to do definitely that whole logical side of implementing rules um, is important and I think it's beneficial for traders uh, to get into and you know as this video goes on here I know there's counter arguments sit around we're going to talk about them okay um, the next point here which I believe is the most important point of the entire video um, which is I believe that coding has made me a better trader because it has helped me to understand further the strong and weak points of discretionary traders human traders we're talking about compared to the strengths and the weaknesses of their algorithmic counterpart traders. Okay, so the main thing about writing a program, it's meant to do the same exact thing every time it executes the same exact way, um, based on the set of instructions that you provide it, the set of logical based rules. Um, or maybe it's based on some kind of machine learning algorithm that where the rules adapt to new things that come in, which is also very interesting, but it's still, at the end of the day, it's still logic. And again, my knowledge of programming is very basic, guys. Remember, I've just been doing this for a few months, um, so I'm just kind of giving you, you know, my perspective currently as things currently stand here. So in my opinion, a discretionary trader, they may know their plan extremely well, but they're still victim to one thing, which is emotional volatility which everybody knows what that is, of course. And in my opinion, the emotional volatility that traders experience leads to inconsistency in execution or errors in execution. And always think of it over a large sample set of occurrences, right? So you have hundreds of days in the year that you trade. Um, at least a few of those days, you're gonna have some days where you're feeling off and you're not really ready to execute. And if that trader doesn't have any rules in place for you know, stopping themselves from trading or you know, even catching themselves in the moment if they've executed something incorrectly, then, you know, every time they do that, they're going to be making a mistake that adds up to, you know, the larger amount of occurrences at the end of the year. And that's going to hurt them. Whereas an algorithm, of course, it doesn't make mistakes. It executes upon the rules you give it. And that's it. A program has no emotion. Next is that the average algorithm. Now, this is very important. I believe that the average program or bot that people make for trading is probably not sophisticated enough to consider as many things as a discretionary trader might be considering. And I only know this because I've been discretionary trading and watching discretionary traders for a long enough time that I can see that the traders who are 
profitable and who sit there and wait for their trades and they wait for their signals and they act upon their signals consistently, those traders consider a lot of things and even they might not even be able to fully explain each nuance of what it is they're doing. I believe that the average algorithm that someone can write to trade will not cut it, basically. It's not gonna cut it. So this is why you guys probably hear that a lot of big institutions, they have entire teams dedicated to developing their proprietary trading systems algorithmically, of course, because they're considering all of these important things. Is that you know a simple algorithm, just because it executes flawlessly, it's not gonna be considering all the things that it probably needs to be considering that are going to be contributing to it making money or losing money, uh, which means that if it's not being considerate, it's gonna lose money more than it makes money. Um, so that's the bottom line. If you've ever seen the way a discretionary, experienced trader sits there and stalk a particular trade, you guys know what I mean here. So by default now, default, an algorithm without proper care will probably be too rigid to trade the markets consistently and profitably. And the discretionary trader is not rigid enough and is susceptible to making slight execution errors that will add up over time. So where do you find the balance between this? The challenge is in incorporating the flexibility or selectiveness that a discretionary trader has while taking advantage of the flawless execution that a program can offer you. So guys, bottom line is that it's really interesting to talk about this stuff. I would love to hear your comments down below. It's interesting to think about both perspectives, that being algorithmic and discretionary. And thinking about this has improved my perspectives of the market. It allows you to see things from a different light. And I hope that this video has also helped you to start to see that as well. So I would like to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.